Hello guys, welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. I have been thinking about ways that I can help you pick the best gear and weapons, and since there is a lot of speculation what high tier armor works best, I decided to help you out making some decisions. So today I want to help you decide what tier 5 armor vest to use, the Gazelle or the Korund. Now as I said there are a lot of different opinions on the subject and a few well known streamers, unlike myself, have voiced their opinions about these armor vests. Bastilli, for example, has broached the subject with his armor tier list video. If you're still in doubt, after my breakdown of these two armor vests, I suggest you check his video out. The link is in the description. So, the Gazelle or the Korund. Let's start with some basic statistics. As many of you know, armor points work diminishingly in Tarkov, which in short means the lower the armor points, the lower the effectiveness of the armor, especially if your armor is damaged. That's why some streamers say they never repair armor and just buy new ones, so their protection is secured. By this logic, the fact that the Gazelle has 20 more armor points than the Korund makes quite a difference in sustainability in a fight. Of course, since the Gazelle is ceramic, it is partially disliked for its lack of repairability. The Korund is made from armored steel and therefore better to repair. This is for many a reason to pick the Korund over the Gazelle. But what if I ask you to stop thinking about the post-fight armor rating for a second? After all, you want to survive the fight, right? Why would you wear armor otherwise? So instead of looking at what your repairability and repair cost might be, maybe start looking at what gets you through the raid. A full gazelle will increase your chance of survival drastically compared to a full health Korund in my opinion. Both protect the thorax and the stomach, but the gazelle is 3x3. Well, the current is 4x3, which means putting the gazelle in your backpack after the fight and wearing the opponent's armor as a true barbaric victor is a valid option. Even dropping a damaged gazelle is a valid option since nobody wants to go through the trouble of picking it up and dragging it to the extract only to repair it losing a chunk of durability in the process. The current, however, is a more attractive pickup because you know you will be able to repair it to its full glory or almost its full glory. So insurance return also favors the gazelle, but that deviate, we were talking about statistics. Once again the gazelle tops the current prominently because all the stats favor the gazelle. It has better movement speed, better turning speed and better ergonomics. But that isn't all, as a bonus it weighs less and therefore is more attractive to all you red hoarders. Because every teapot and every car battery is money isn't it? But I'm not done yet, next to the capabilities of the armor, the price matters as well, so let's compare. You can obtain the Gazelle at Rackman level 3 for 126,000 rubles, while the Korund costs only 112,000 rubles at Prapor level 4. So if you're on a budget, the Korund would make more sense, especially if you run it often, right? Wrong, because you can trade the Gazelle for 3 coffee magi Magica? Magica? Or something like that and two golden neck chains which comes down to a total of around 95k and with that it also beats the current in pricing so to summarize i made a quick list you can guess my preference and i might be biased but then again the gazelle does look very promising looking at this i do want to add that in the end it is personal preference don't let me pastilli veritas or your grandmother decide what you use if you want to put the box and time in, you can try out both of them to see which one suits you more. I am merely here to help you make a well informed choice. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me so far. I do appreciate the feedback and comments I have been receiving, so please keep them coming. Did you like the video? Leave a like or subscribe so you don't miss any new content. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.